Colorado investors, right? Colorado. The market is hot sizzle, right? Sizzle, right? The market is hot in Colorado. The market's so hot in Colorado. Every Facebook dude and his brother's on there on a Facebook Live and like, Hey guys, I just wanted to come on to Facebook Live to let you know that the market is on fire. If you want to buy or sell a house, now's a great time because the market's on fire. Right? You've all seen that, right? The market's on fire, so it's awesome. If you, you know, put your investor cap on, what does that really mean? The market's on fire. That means inventory's low. Houses are high, large level of competition, right? So that takes investors out of their sweet spot, right? It makes it harder for you guys to hit your cash flow numbers, right? So today we're working with an investor from Colorado to help him break through that problem, break through the issue of the hot market because it's actually an issue, right? When you're buying it's a problem. When you're acquiring real estate, a hot market is not awesome. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're selling real estate, you buy low, sell high. That's great for you. But uh, the Facebook Lives that most folks put out there don't really address these pragmatic uh, nuances. So that's what I do, and I help folks, and I'm going to help him. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is James Give me a second. And I help people like you invest in real estate. That's what I do, all right? I help people invest in real estate. Today, my dude, uh, T-Money, he's a Cleveland area expat, right? Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, he recently moved uh, to Colorado, right? And as has mentioned, the market is freaking smoking, dude. This market out there, it's smoking more than freaking Snoop Dogg, right? And if you're selling, sure, that's great. That's awesome. You're going to get a premium for your property. But if you're like my guy T-Money, you're in the acquisition phase. Uh, so that makes buying affordable rental properties impossible almost. That makes buying properties that cash flow almost impossible, right? A hot market is not always good, right? It's a double-edged sword, right? So what he did is he's like, well, you know what? I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Can't get what I'm looking for here in Colorado. So let me see what's going on in my own hometown. I'm hooked up with my company. My company, Holton Wise, helps people all over the country invest in the best, most profitable cash flow real estate, right? We follow the deals, right? We follow the deals. Where the cash flow is, that's where we go. We help people like you, people like T-Money take advantage of that. We do it all on the ground. We run it all. In T-Money, uh, we've done several properties together. I know right now we're waiting on that Cleveland Heights property. And guess what, brother? I'm also filming a couple other Cleveland Heights deals for you today. So when we get you all these videos, uh, you should probably receive them all within the same like 48-hour period. I think you're really going to dig those. But this one, is another really nice one that's got similar numbers to one of the other Cleveland Heights ones that I sent you that uh, we, we kind of lowballed the seller a little bit, so we're still waiting uh, on a reply. So we got to keep things moving, right? We got to take down the best deal, right? We always got to be hustling. Uh, so I thought this one would be perfect. I looked at this a couple weeks ago for another investor. They didn't do the deal, still available, and I thought of you. I'm like, dude, you know what? He's going to love this one. This one's pretty nice. So without further ado, T-Money, I'm going to leave you with all that footage, and you let me know if this is a good candidate for your portfolio. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. This one, man, this is a nice, 
Nice property for two reasons, location and the layout, okay? 2206 West Boulevard, Cleveland, 44102. Priced $199,900. Been on the market for 63 days, okay? It's been on the market for quite a while because there's not as high of a demand uh, for these more expensive, nicer duplexes. It feels like everybody that's coming to Cleveland, like at the bottom, at the bottom, the 60K, 70K, 80K, 90K, 100K duplexes, right? seems like there's just so many more investors, right? Because it takes less money to buy them, right? So there's more buyers available. These ones typically take a little longer. Uh, but in my opinion, stuff like this, guys, you're really missing the boat if you're not picking up investments. This is in the Edgewater neighborhood. And look at this. That's downtown right there. This is the house. You're butting up to these woods. And, dude, this thing is ginormous, man. Ginormous, dude. It's a huge side-by-side three bedrooms each side and they're like 1400 square feet like we've managed several properties on uh this little area like this whole strip the the homes were just like so much bigger than like your traditional duplexes right like traditional duplexes coming in like 1800 square feet right these right here 28 they're just massive massive and because of that we get huge rents man huge rents market rents currently the current owner he's got them in there a little less right he's you know, got a little less. And you can see it's not like he's taking the greatest care of his building. Like, look, you could even see it in one of the photos. I just saw it. Like, he's got a boarded up window here, right? You got some peeling, right? So it's not like taking the greatest care of his unit. So it's not like he's, like, trying to deck it out and get high-end stuff here, right? But market rent, 1200 1200 What he's bringing in is 10 and 8 right? But market rents, that's what we should focus on because that's what you're going to be making for the long haul here, right? I don't recommend just booting these tenants out either. I would just say we'll try to slowly work them up, right? When a natural turnover occurs is when we'll want to do the unit turn, right? You don't want to just do a unit turn for no reason. Like 1000 ain't 1200 but it's a lot more than zero, and it's a lot more than you sending like ten grand to us to renovate the unit, right? So 2400 comes in. It's 28.8 for the year. This is real estate investing in a magic. You don't get to keep the whole 28,000, folks. That would be magic. That's not what you come to Old and Wise TV for. That's that's what fake gurus teach you, right? Oh, here's the right. You get to keep it. It's all profit. It's not all profit. That's not how real estate works. Is this a very nice neighborhood? Yes. Is the tenant base incredibly solid? Yes. Are we still going to account for the normal problems that occur? With rental property investing, absolutely. That's what we do because that's real life, okay? So repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, CapEx, those things are real. They do happen. So pure profit should be just under 14 k As far as price, 199 I think that's a little too high. Could also be why it's still in the market, 63 days. I think we got to come in close to that but not hit it exactly. Think of 190 190 it's a great deal for you. You put down 47 and a half. Bank kicks in 142 and a half. Pencils out to a long-term cash-on-cash return of 14.2%, right? And you're in a very solid neighborhood, one of the nicer neighborhoods in Cleveland, right? So you're not having to deal with constant problems, right? Will problems occur over the course of your ownership? Probably, but we're mitigating them as much as we can. On top of that, not only is it huge, right? Not only is it huge. Remember, it's like 2,800 square feet, an extra 1,000 feet, 1,400 square feet per unit. The fact that it's bigger helped us with the rent, but it's also going to help us with reduced turnovers. In addition to that, the neighborhood being nicer is going to help us with reduced turnovers. But also this layout, it's side by side. Even if it was 1,400 square feet and it was up down, that wouldn't be as ideal as side by side because side by side you don't have somebody above or below and the tenants don't fight as much. This feels like a single-family home, up-down duplexes don't. Like 95% of the duplexes in Cleveland are up-down. So when you get the opportunity to pluck one that is bigger, has the premium layout, and is in a premium neighborhood, you absolutely need to do it, folks. This deal is a home run any way you slice it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.